Well, hello and welcome back. My name's Kieran Siemens and this is my inky world. My inky world, but with a busted hand. So, how are we going to do today's drawing? What are we going to do? Well, some clever person kind of pointed out that if this hand is busted, why not use this hand? What a crazy idea, I thought. No chance. No, 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 I'm not doing that. But maybe that's a great idea. Maybe that's a genius idea. So today, we're not going to use the hand that we always use. We're going to use that other useless hand. I think I only knew I had another hand about five minutes ago. You know, what do I use this hand for? Nothing. Nothing. So today, we're going to use your other hand and do some drawing. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> mm. Okay, so this hand is not working. So we're going to give it a go with this hand, your left hand, or if you're left handed, use your right hand. Now what it's going to do is it's hopefully going to get our brains to do most of the work. The hand is basically just the tool at the end of it. Now I'm not going to use my usual dip pen. I'm just going to use a, like a felt pen, like a little one of those type of things. Just because I don't think I would have enough muscle control in this hand to do. I mean, I'll try it maybe, but I can't see that happening. But so a lovely friend of mine basically was talking about, asked me the question, have you ever drawn with your left hand? Well, of course I haven't. Why would I? I spent all the years, all the way through Disney and through Universal and all those big companies, drawing away with this hand and this hand I can't think of doing anything with this hand maybe just pulling my mustache and maybe that's about it I can't think of anything I do with this hand so today we are going to try and draw with the other hand now don't cheat if you're left-handed use your right hand okay I know some of you out there are left-handed. So I'm just going to use this old piece of paper here just to kind of try things out and see where it takes us. Now, my approach to some of the drawing lessons, you might have seen me draw the hair and the goat and things like that. If you haven't, go and watch those videos because although it's kind of from a side angle, there's a lot of really good stuff in there that basically will give you the basics of every single thing that I'm going to talk through, through this whole drawing adventure, this drawing teaching you channel. So we're going to break our mind down into very, very, very simplest things, you know. And I think one of the great pleasures of, of seeing the, the beauty in the other hand take a step back now I see a lot of people sending me comments about oh today I was trying to draw this and I hate this and I hate this and I hate this and mostly my comments are you're being too hard on yourself you are being too hard on yourself every time you draw something down I can see you going oh, oh this is never gonna work oh this is never gonna work oh that's terrible oh Oh, I might have to redraw this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, and you're kind of constantly feeding that negativity. So today we're going to try a little exercise of doing the opposite. We are going to tell ourselves that this other hand, <laughs> this useless floppy thing here called a hand, um, we're going to try and convince ourselves that this is our important hand, that this is our special hand, that this has something and we're going to try and think of it the same way that we would think of it as our dominant hand so I've never drawn with my left hand I can't I don't think 
in fact, this whole idea basically came from someone's comment. Um, they are a left-handed person, and they were asking me if I'd ever drawn with my left hand. And, you know, the, 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 the answer to that is should be yes. But I haven't. I've never even thought of it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to think of a character. Now, the best way to do this is to simplify things down to the smallest point. And the same way comes down to your hands. If you can draw something even very, very bad with this hand, and even if it's the worst drawing you've ever seen and worse than a child's drawing, it'll make you feel this hand is better. So by going back a step will make you raise the level of this and raise the level of your thinking about this hand, okay? Now, we are gonna break our character down to the simplest of shapes so that the simplest of hands can draw the simplest of shapes. That's my idea. <laughs> now, what you can do is that you can simplify down. Let's draw a character, a little, a little animal of some sort, a rabbit or a frog or something that's a very simple, a frog, why not a frog? That's got quite a distinct shape maybe and we could probably have some fun with it. Now I'm gonna start off with just thinking about circles. Now take a minute before you put that pen down and hate everything that you do. Just try to visualize this character that we're going to do. Try and think about his, his round head. Is he a round head? Is it more of an egg shaped head? Or is it more of a kind of elongated egg shape? You know? What kind of shapes are we thinking about? Is he, does he have hair? Does he have big eyes? Does he have little hair eyes? Does he have, does he have a hat? Does he have a tie? Does he have a suit? Does he have a running suit? Does, what? So try and just visualize for a minute before we put our pen down about what type of creature, what kind of character, what kind of, person are we going to draw okay now once you've got that stick with it okay give this hand some confidence now i'm going to start off and i'm really not looking forward to this but i'm going to try and think of my round head and i'm going to now i'm already finding that if i if i do a kind of hatch type feeling. Okay. Now I'm finding it very difficult to kind of go over the same line. Do you see that? I'm finding it very difficult to be accurate enough. So I'm going to use that, take the positivity of that and say, that is my style. For my left hand, this kind of rough, ragged drawing is the style that I'm going to draw this frog in. It's not a mistake. It's not a bad drawing. It's my style. Building that confidence. Building that kind of confidence with it. Giving it some love. Okay? Now, <coughs> I don't want my, my character to have a complete round head. I want him to have these lovely big rosy lumpy fat cheeks so i'm going to attempt to kind of draw out oh my god my line is very 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 wobbly <laughs> and i'm going to do another big stuck out cheek on this side too now it's okay if you if you kind of pull up a a book of characters and copy one, you know, have the picture on the side and um, look at it and copy some character if you don't feel as confident. 
and I'm just going to fill in some of those very bad lines with a little bit of filler basically just to kind of make it look a little bit more so that's my my already my my head and my big fat cheeks either side and I'm going to give him some eyes okay so eyes what kind of eyes am I going to get well think about your where your center is and we're going to draw a big round eye now I'm kind of seeing that the more I take my pen off oh dear 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 <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm four years old again which probably a very good thing right <laughs> right so that's my two round eyes not too bad I guess So that kind of is, is giving me a basics idea of the 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 frog head and the the two big eyes that he has. Now I'm going to give him a smile. Now I want my smile to be quite a long, but I want to have a little bit of a a kind of a nose lip type area, which I want it to be about there because I kind of feel like he needs a. I can't just draw a straight line because I feel like it might might make him look too simple. So there's my, my big smile line. I'll do the same on that side. Oh my god. It's You're doing well. You're doing well, left hand. <laughs> and I'm going to join that on if I can. And that is giving me this feeling of a smiling character. And I kind of like that. And I'm going to give him a little lip underneath that. Now, it's not the best of frogs, but I can kind of see that it's a cartoon frog. And it's giving us... Let's just bring that nose down a little bit. They could bring that line down there. Now, please take your time. Don't put the same pressures you put on this hand on this hand. Okay, this is like a beginner hand and we're being nice to him. Pretend it's somebody else's hand and you're telling it, oh, that's good. Well done. Well done. That Oh, that mouth is nice, isn't it? Oh, well done you. Okay. That might kind of give your your drawing hand some confidence as you would if it was a child or a friend drawing so we're going to put these eyeballs on and this is going to be very difficult because it's a very small circle that I need to draw oh not too bad <laughs> oh my god okay once One's remarkably bigger than the other. Okay, let's try and make the other side slightly bigger. Okay. Now I kind of feel like he needs some kind of eyebrows or something. So I'm going to try to give him an eyebrow above each. Now don't worry too much about expression. Obviously you could you could have him angry or you could have him confused or something. But for now, just think about your character. And I, I do find like his head is, is empty. Like I love to wear my hats and things like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and put a nice hat on him. Now, I'm going to try... put a hat on no now it's a rather wonky hat but we're staying positive we're staying positive it's a beautiful hat it's his grandfather's hat and he loves this hat 
Okay, you see how we're kind of making ourselves feel good. And that's the kind of wrinkle on this. Let's give him a top hat. Let's give him a nice big hat. <laughs> now, some of you people out there, you can draw in left hand. So I am hoping that you're now attempting to draw it in the right hand. I would put a little kind of line on his hat. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, I kind of feel now that he has this, um, this kind of top hat, I was going to do him in a suit anyway. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe adding a little dicky bow tie. And I'm going to keep it in the center, obviously where his nose and his mouth are. And I'm going to try and draw Well, that's not bad. Well done, left hand. That's quite good shape. Well done. See how we're encouraging ourselves. We're not criticizing ourselves. We're not saying, oh, you're rubbish. Oh, you're terrible. As you're usually doing, you're probably quite constantly, probably without even thinking it, you're constantly criticizing yourself. And what we're going to do here is we're going to encourage, that's the word, encourage ourselves. Well done. That's quite a nice shape. Well done, hand. Let's put a couple of little wrinkles in there to make our bow look respectable. Now, that's lovely. Now, it's going to be difficult when we go to think about details. Now, I'd like to put some spots on it, but I, I'm really nervous about doing details with my wobbly hand. But I know that this hand can do it. I know my left hand is going to be doing it. Just checking my numbers are working. Because I believe in my left hand. I am great is what you're telling yourself. I can do it is what you're telling yourself. This is what we believe our left hand can do and by concentrating on these small pieces all I'm thinking about now is drawing the spots on my dicky bow tie now I can I can feel quite pleased with that now I'm going to draw the little strap probably should give him a little collar I'm going to add the little strap that goes. Now, I don't know if you're finding it, but I find that when I'm drawing with my left hand, I'm not actually supporting it on the paper. I'm kind of floating it in the air. The paper is here and my hand is like this, whereas my right hand, I'm usually down. So you're kind of analyzing how you would usually draw. So... I'm going to draw some a suit. I want a nice long kind of jacket. So I'm going to draw some straight lines down the middle to show my where my jacket is. I don't know why I keep going over the same line. <laughs> um, but I can already see that these two lines here are already so much better than what I was doing up here on the head. Just within a couple of minutes, you can feel how your mind is calming down. Your mind is relaxing. Your mind is supporting what you're doing, not being negative. So I do find already, by doing so, it is giving myself a little bit more confidence with the line and this is something that you could do when you're drawing with your real hand with your more dominant hand you can also instead of being aggressive to it you can be supportive to it 
you could give it positive comments instead of negative comments. There's my lovely jacket. And I've even put some buttons. Now that, <laughs> that, that, that used all of my brain juice just to do those buttons. Trust me. So now I want to have some two long arms. I kind of like the idea of his arms being longer than usual. But let's see how we get on. Oh, forgot the lapels of his. The lapels of his jacket. And I'm going to add another button down here. So I'm finding now that my drawing style has already the line work. I'm more confident in just drawing a straight line. And I'm not going hatch, 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 hatch. I'm actually just drawing a line. And that's a very, very small progress maybe for you. But for me, it's huge. In just a few minutes of my kind of, you know, well done hand. Well done. You're doing well. And, and giving that support, I can feel already that things are improving. And I find that if you do that with your drawing on a daily basis, you're being very kind to yourself. Or kinder to yourself. Let's put another button on there. That you will find that your drawing gets better for the simple reason that you're supporting it and not being negative. In the same way that if you're sharing a house with somebody and someone's always saying, Oh, you didn't do that. Oh, you didn't do that. Oh, stop doing that. Oh, you always do that. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't. You kind of get to that thing of like, Oh, God, what am I going to do wrong next? And that's the same way you're talking to your own hand. That's the same way you're talking to your own art. So by encouraging yourself, you will get better. Thinking of your hand as a small child, you would never say, don't do that, don't do that, you're not good, you're not good. So be very, very kind to yourself, please. All right, I'm going to draw another arm. Let's see. It's a bit, a bit more of a wobbly line on that arm. <laughs> it's getting a little bit. Now I'm actually finding that within a couple of minutes, I'm getting a little bit more accuracy with it and I'm calming myself down and I'm saying well done well done well done well done you've done the collar well done well done those arms are not too bad are they well done are you gonna add another button there oh let's add another button you know supporting it like you were a child now you might find that This could be a regular exercise. You know, if I was to draw a frog with my right hand now, I would have all that, that lifting up, that spirit confidence, that spirit praise to go and do something else. And it might be a very, very good exercise for you to draw something with your left hand and, and try and really kind of support it and be nice to it. oh good boy good boy you're doing well good boy good and then going on to your other hand and then saying the same thing well done that's much better than that hand did well done and this kind of small talk could really really improve so i'm going to draw some very long froggy fingers okay I'm still finding it very difficult to control my hand. But again, I feel it is getting better. And and I'm kind of not so fearful about it. I'm kind of enjoying the process better now that's you can see that each finger is different 
but I'm still pleased with it. Let's draw his thumb. Now, I'm going to use that as a template to draw the other hand on the other side. Now, I even feel strange having to shift my body over to, to draw at this side, you know. Now, today's lesson is a lesson in having fun. Bringing fun back to your art. It is not a lesson on how to be a better artist or anything else. But it's a, a lesson more on enjoying you, enjoying your art, not looking at other people. Everybody in the world's better than you. Everybody in the world's better than me. But enjoying your drawing, getting a pleasure from your drawing. When you draw something, already I'm getting a pleasure from this frog. And I feel like I've got some kind of small learnings from it, you know? And because I'm so nervous about making a mistake and looking silly and drawing something dreadful, I do find I haven't really criticized myself at all. Not one time. Now, I wonder if you have. Because you know that this hand is going to struggle, maybe you're already being kinder to it than you would with your dominant hand. Are you? Do you feel that? Do you feel that you're actually less critical? Maybe the drawing's not as good as what you would have done, but you're not being as critical. You're not being as aggressive to it. And maybe that is something that is holding you back. Maybe that is something that is a bad thing in your in your drawing not the fact that you are bad but you're telling yourself that you're bad and this already is telling me that I'm gonna give him shorts okay just so I can draw a leg because I know a leg will be more difficult and that's his first leg and I'm feeling that the shorts are really not too bad at all. I still have to concentrate a lot. <laughs> so, how are you doing? <laughs> how is your left hand? Are you starting to feel already just at this stage? You're already starting to feel this. This is not so bad. This hand is not as bad as I thought. Maybe you could do this left and right hand juggle more often. I'm going to give him little knobbly kneecaps. I don't know why, but. And I'm going to give him some very down onto the calf muscle. Just give him a little calf muscle. And I'm just going to run his. legs down now I really hope that you have enjoyed today's adventure and I hope you have taken part in this small the small learning lesson the small way of looking at yourself and looking at your own art and i i really hope that you've gained something from it now the two things that we always do one we always put our name and the second is that we have to frame it i'm going to draw a frame after well let's try and draw a frame now wow Oh, a bit a bit wobbly on that corner. Not bad. Oh, I'm finding the, drawing the corners a little bit difficult. Come on, 
Right hand, get out of the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a mind bender doing those corners, I'll tell you. Not bad. We should be pleased. Now we're going to write our name. Write your name. You have to. You can't skip this part. You have to write your name because this is going to be that last little burst of confidence. This is going to be that last thing that seals that drawing as a drawing. Now, I want a big K. Try and think about the way you write your name. Because I always kind of like to do a little bit of a squiggly writing on mine. So I'm going to do a big squiggly I. And a big E. And a big long twirly R. And a big squiggly O. And then a big N on the end. And that, my friends, is how you draw with your left hand. I have never tried before. And I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling that there is some possibilities with this hand. I really do think that the way that I have talked with my mind and my arm and my hand and my, my concentration on it, and my way of supporting it and being complementary to it has also helped. I can see from the face to the legs that line has already gained in confidence over only a few minutes. And I really would like you to take this lesson today and draw with your left hand. And once you've given it all that love, then go to your right hand. And refrain from any negativity. Give it the same love and the same support. And the same kindness as you would with some child. That's how I see this hand. I see it as a, a child almost drawing. And this hand is the adult. And this, we need to give the same support. And you will find that your drawing will get better. And thank you very much for... For my friend BMO for asking me about have I ever drawn with my left hand because honestly I never thought of it. I had never thought of drawing with my left. Why would I need to draw with my left hand? But it has given me such such kind of um, why not? You know? So I hope this small how to draw with your other hand lesson, how to use that left hand. I hope there has been something from this that you have gained, something that you have learned about yourself, about the way that you treat yourself when you're drawing. And I hope you will bring some of that kindness and some of that love into your usual drawing. Tell me if it gets better. Tell me how you feel about today's lesson. I really want to know how your experience was with drawing with your beautiful left hand. Thank you very much for being here today. I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed our time together. So, send me a comment. Tell me how you got on with your left hand. And I'll see you again very, very soon with this beast coming back. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.